We want to turn out of the dramatic testimony today in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. A paramedic who was shot by Rittenhouse at a protest talked on the stand about his tense confrontation with the teenager before taking a bullet in the arm. CBS's Nancy Chen is covering the trial in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Jurors watched footage of the moment Kyle Rittenhouse shot Gage Grosskreutz at close range with an AR-15 style weapon. What was going through your mind? at this particular moment, that I was gonna die. Grosskreutz says he lost 90% of his bicep. That looks like my bicep being vaporized. Grosskreutz, a professionally trained medic, treated nearly a dozen protesters that night. He says he heard gunshots and ran toward them. I thought that the defendant was an active shooter. Today, the jury was shown new drone video of Rittenhouse shooting and killing Joseph Rosenbaum. A crowd chased and confronted Rittenhouse as he fled that scene. Then Rittenhouse shot and killed another protester before wounding Grosskreutz. Rittenhouse claims he was acting in self-defense. His attorney questioned Grosskreutz's actions leading to the shooting. When you were standing three to five feet from him, it wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. Defense attorney Joe Tamburino, who isn't connected to the case, says both sides are leaning heavily on Grosskreutz's testimony. Because when you have a witness on the stand who almost died, they can be very powerful witnesses on either side. And the prosecution has said they will rest their case tomorrow. The defense has indicated that Rittenhouse himself may take the stand, and that could be in the next few days, Nora. Nancy Chen, thank you.